Hi guys, I'm back with another bangle making video. Um, this time we're going to use these beads, uh, a little more earthy tone. Um, these beads have been begging me to make them into bangles, so we're going to do that. Um, as you guys know, I've had so much fun making these bangles. Um, I just want to keep going with different beads, different colors, and so forth. So I have my um, memory wire here uh, with 24 gauge uh, wire to wrap around the beads with. Um, so I'll show you how to get this into the um, bangle size. Um, this, The diameter of this is... Uh, inches uh, we want to go a little bit bigger so that way it can fit through our wrist or our hand while we're, when we're putting it in on this is the hardest part here guys getting your memory wire loops size corrected it's best to uh, make it a little bigger than smaller and once I have a rough idea of the uh, of the size I want, I just kind of put my hand around it and get about four, five loops. And then before I cut it, I just want to make sure it goes through my hand. Okay. And then a little wire, uh, a memory wire cutter. Um, you don't want to use anything else but your memory wire cutter. I think I said this on the video. But please, 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 don't ruin your not regular wire cutter. So now I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit so that it's so that's it so that it's easier to work with. Okay, so guys, at this point we're gonna cut a good length of our 24 gauge wire um, so that it's enough to long enough to wrap it around as many coils as you want. center of this coil so that I can um, wire so that I can um, use the center to start um, wrapping on my memory wire. So here it is. So I'm going to get my wire. I'm going to bring them to the size I want. Once you start wrapping, you won't be able to go back. I think I need to make this a little bigger. I like and so I'm going to start wrapping my 24 gauge wire around it right about there And 
this everywhere. I'm going to add my first bead. like that so I'm gonna add my next bead right here right in place and keep going with my wraps far because I need a little bit of uh, wrapping space before I add a new bead so I might just have to end this one here. But I'll leave that one alone for now and I'll start um, adding bead on the other side of that long length of um, wire that we have. And if it gets too uncomfortable with this little guy hanging out here I'll, I'll just trim that off. Let's just cut it that way. Actually, let me wrap it five times. That way I only have two. Three, four, five, so that way the next time uh, when I um, start a new wire wrapping, I will only have to go five times. think so far guys
1914. longer wire than I need, um, so I might have to make an earring or something so that I don't waste my wire. Okay, then at this point I just need to figure out where I'm going to put my, yeah, the, next, the last one would go here, now the spacing is good. Just checking to make sure that there's no, see there's a the wire, one of the ends is going to end up underneath, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this guy a little bit so that it doesn't fall under the stone.
our bracelet or bangle is complete guys let's try it on it's nice and comfy there are some spots that i need to tuck the um end end of the wire so that it is not going to scratch anyone okay feels good and here you go guys what do you think that's it for today see you in the next video bye